Hello and welcome back. My name is Daniel Gonzalez and I'll be painting this little lamb today. Here I'm laying down the big basic color shapes with my palette knife. Just trying to get the right shape in the right size, in the right space. I also worked on the details of the eye just so I don't lose them. And when I'm laying down the big color shapes, you'll see it's generally a little bit darker so that I can add highlights on top. You can see the thickness of the paint and the texture that I've added so far. Painting in some of the darker shadows of the wool that's covering the little lamb. This is a small painting for me. It's a little six by six square board that I'm painting on, so I'm using smaller brushes pretty quickly. And when I was laying down the texture of the wool, I found it really fun to load the paint up on the brush and do some impasto work with it. It's fun to let the paint be paint sometimes, and what I mean by that is to let it drip or splatter like I do here with some turpenoid. Generally speaking, when you have a warm highlight or a warm light source, your shadows are going to tend to be cooler. So here I'm using a mixture of cobalt blue with a little bit of gray to add the shadow on the legs. I'm laying in some of the basic texture for the legs with the brush and then I'll break those color shapes into smaller color shapes using the fan brush. And then I'll go back with uh, my palette knife and add some texture. Now that some of the impasto work has dried, I can go back and stain some of the texture of the paint with darker colors. It's also nice to add on thick, goopy highlights like this. Here's a view of my basic setup with my palette clipped to my easel. This is an interesting camera angle. It makes the legs of the lamb look really short and stubby, but you can see I'm adding highlights around the base of the lamb to make it look like it's kind of in a spotlight. The shadows are relatively cool, and I'm adding some, like a white glaze over the body to tone down some of the color 